Do you like my cup? Hello, gorgeous. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another chit chat, weigh in video, meal prep review. No, not a meal prep review because I haven't meal prepped in two weeks. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. And I am also starting to include calories as well. So I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I'm trying to think of when the last time I actually like sat down. I think I did... I think I ended up doing a weigh-in video like the week before Thanksgiving because I did end up doing a prep that week. And I hope that light isn't glaring on my glasses. If it is, I apologize. So it's Thursday, uh, what is it? Thursday, December 10th. I cannot believe it's December 10th already. The end of the year is almost here. The end of 2020. So it's Thursday, de December 10th. I It's uh, about eight o'clock at night. At work today and got home made some salmon and broccoli and thought you know what, i need to sit down and just go ahead and film tonight since i have my light now and i'm able to do it at night so my appearance is probably not the greatest i did make sure i didn't have any broccoli stuck in my teeth so we're good there so anyway my husband and i have been on a little staycation the last couple weeks so some of you may have noticed i haven't been quite as active on um, social media I haven't really been wasn't on Facebook or Instagram too much but I did have videos going up on my channel some were very small videos and some were just like cook with me's that I had filmed I, I always have like some videos that I've filmed previously that are sitting in my vault and I just haven't put them up and I wait for the right time some of you may have noticed the real short videos so YouTube has this new thing called shorts and what they are is just little videos, short videos. They're less than 60 seconds long. They go on what's called a short shelf. So they're not typically for the basic, the YouTube, like we all know it, where we go to somebody's page and you see them, they come up on like a shelf. It reminds me kind of of stories. I'm not really sure what the difference is between those and stories. I think this is YouTube's attempt at doing kind of like similar to TikTok. So let me know in the comments if you have seen the shorts videos. If you are one that saw it off of my regular channel, like on the computer or, you know, through my main page, it probably looks funny to you because of the way that we have to film it. We have to do like vertical. It's got to be a vertical format so that it's because it's meant for mobile. So if you've watched it, that's why. I kind of like them for the fact that they're just really short videos. They don't have an intro. They don't have an outro. If you're watching it on your phone on the short shelf, there's like no thumbnail. There's no advertisements. They're just little tiny clips. And I like them because it, you may have seen a couple of the videos that I put up. One was just about like how I make my cucumber sandwich where I put cucumber and laughing cow cheese and turkey on it and make it into a sandwich. And one was how I do a mock ice cream sandwich. So those are just like little things that I wouldn't make a whole big video about. But anyway, I feel like my hair is just a mess. But anyway, so it's just something new YouTube is doing and I don't know, I'm not definitely not gonna be doing it on a regular basis, um, but for little things that I wanna share with you, little things that I wanna show you, I figure I would put them up for that. So if you are new to my channel, my weigh-in videos or chit-chat videos, whatever you wanna call them, 
are just the time where I just sit down and I talk with you all, my friends. And I go way off to left field and way off to right field. I sometimes start talking about something and get pulled into a different direction. This is just my chit chat video, my catch up, you know, catching up from the week. Uh, I think like my other videos are pretty much not scripted because I don't use any scripts in any of my videos ever. And, um, but those ones are more, um, I don't know what the word is, not, not scripted, but they're planned. They're planned videos. Like it's a planned, a planned meal prep. It's a planned grocery haul. So I know what I'm going to be doing. These are just, I sit in front of the camera. I don't have any plans of what I'm going to talk about. I usually shut the camera off and think, dang it, I wanted to tell them that. So if you're new and you think, wow, she's really off a rocker, I'm really not. It's just this is my, <laughs> my time to catch up. So catching up with you all, uh, as I mentioned, my husband and I went, we were on a little staycation. We didn't end up going anywhere. Uh, I mentioned we wanted to go to St. Augustine. We were celebrating his 50th birthday. And we just decided because of the COVID numbers increasing, we decided that we would just stay home, not really do anything. So that's exactly what we did. We stayed home and didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. I did not get, I didn't vlog, didn't do anything like that. I decided that, you know what, this is his 50th birthday and I'm just gonna give him my undivided attention. So that's what I did and we really enjoyed it. We definitely, definitely needed that time together. The whole time that my husband and I were, you know, home celebrating his birthday, we just figured, you know what, let's just, kind of take ourselves out of reality. So that's why I didn't do any vlogging. I didn't have my camera out in either one of our faces the whole time. I didn't track points. I didn't pay attention. I did pay attention. I was mindful of what I was eating. So, I mean, because honestly, if I'm not mindful, it is very possible for me to gain, literally gain 10 pounds in a two week period. Like I have done that before. I have done it when I've gone completely off you know, off track. So we just kind of like took ourselves out of reality and we just watched movies. We just, we just enjoyed the time together. So how did I do on the scale? So I haven't been on the scale. It was two weeks ago was the last time I got on there. Thanksgiving. I've not really been following the program too much over the last couple weeks. I've been mindful but I've not been on track at all. I haven't really been tracking. You know, it's so crazy. In years prior, I would have been like, ah, oh, forget it. It's the middle of December. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'll get on the scale in January. So I'm really proud of myself that I've continued to get on the scale. So I got on the scale expecting, okay, I'm gonna have about a five pound gain. I'm gonna have to deal with it. I only gained 1.8. I was very, very surprised at that. So, Again, no, I don't want to gain, but it is what it is. And I came home tonight and that's why I only had salmon and broccoli. I've done real well today. I'm going to really try hard this week. You know, Christmas is coming up. That's going to be another challenge for me. And um, I think in the back of my mind, I am telling myself that like, just get through the month and then, you know, come January, you can get back on track. So I think Partially, I am telling myself that, but I know that I need to, I know that I need to still do good the rest of the month. So I'm just really trying real hard <laughs> for the rest of the month. I think I'm about four pounds away, if I'm correct. I have to look back and see what I was the beginning of January, but I'm like four pounds away of being where I was the beginning of the year. So let me know how you all are doing. Uh, are you hanging in there? I mean, are we just trying to get by treading water and hanging on till January? So let me know in the comments how you're doing with your weight and any non-scale victories. So here is the thing with my weight loss this year. And one thing that I want to talk about, because you know, I sit here and yes, I say that my channel is more about meal planning and meal prepping, but the bottom line is I'm also sharing my weight loss journey as well. But here's the thing. We don't have to lose weight every single week. We don't have to, our bodies aren't meant to lose weight every single week. So the way that I look at it is I can sit here and look at this whole year and say 
man, I really sucked. <laughs> I failed at everything. Like I didn't do good at all on my weight loss. And I can sit there and I can bash myself and, you know, just say, oh, I could have done so much better. Well, if I would have just done this, but here's the thing, everything up to today, December 10th, doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. I can't change it. What I can change is going forward. I can change the future and I can say, okay, this year I maintained basically. I maintained my weight, which again, I will continue saying that that is a success for me. And the reason that I'm saying that is because I don't like to ever tell myself that I failed at something because to me, it's not about failure. It's about learning and it's about, okay, well, I may not have gotten myself where I wanted to be, but what did I do good? What did I accomplish? The bottom line is I didn't throw in the towel this year. I did end up pretty much maintaining, you know, around within, it's going to be about within about a five pound, you know, five pound range. If I look back on my weight loss previous years, which I have an app that I use that's called Libra, where I used to, you know, track my weight even before I was doing Weight Watchers. And I'm going to tell you at the end of every single one of those years, you can see where I like lost, 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 lost. And then at the end of the year, I gained it all back. Never, ever have I been in this situation as I'm in right now, where I can look back and say, I feel successful because I didn't throw in the towel. So this year, 2020 has been very hard for many of us, many of us, whether it is weight related, whether it's, um, you know, personal things that, that we've gone through, whether it's trying to keep a positive head on, whether it's, you know, just dealing with mental health issues. Um, it's been rough for a lot of people. Looking back at this whole year, we have to be thankful for the things that we do have. Try to find the positives that there are. Just try to look back and think of what you're thankful for and what you have accomplished for the year. We just need to wake up every day and try and make that day better than the day before. And if it doesn't go good that day, then you do it again the next day and you keep trying and you keep trying and you keep trying and you don't give up. You don't throw in that towel. When you go to work and you leave work that day and you have had the crappiest day and you just seemed like you messed up in so many things, like, Everything just seemed to go wrong for you that day. You feel like you just, oh my gosh, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I'm so glad the day's over. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to most likely get up and go to work the next day and try it again. You're not going to give up. You're not going to throw in the towel. You had a bad day. So <laughs> you wake up the next day and try again. 2020 was awful. It was horrible for a lot of people but it also brought about different opportunities and really made us all have to kind of sit back and think and try and do things different. So let's just finish out 2020 on our terms. Let's not let 2020 tell us how we're gonna finish out the year. What are things that you feel like th that were successful for you? Things that have happened throughout the year. Sometimes it just, we really have to sit down and think about them because we tend to focus on the negative. We tend to focus on the things that went bad and not the things that went good. And why? Because those are the things that eat away at us. The things that went bad are the ones that bother us the most. The things that went good, we just take them for granted and move on. So that's my little spiel. So no meal prep review to talk about this week. Uh, I will be doing meal prep this weekend, so look for that to come out on usually Tuesday. I say by Wednesdays, but I really try to have it up on Tuesdays, and I've been doing really good with that lately. So watch for that. So I've had a couple people reach out to me and ask me if I'm leaving Weight Watchers, WW. 
um, because I'm starting to put calories. I am giving calories because I know a lot of my viewers are switching to calories or are already doing calories. Believe it or not, I have a lot of viewers who do keto. My channel originally was set up to be about meal prepping and meal planning. So I've always done meal planning and meal prepping, always. Before I was on a weight loss program, I was doing meal prepping. And so when I started my channel, it was to show people how to meal prep. It wasn't so much about, about you know weight loss and about following my weight loss journey. So it's not like I'm a lifestyle channel that's just taking you all along with me as I show how I lose weight. I'm gonna be doing a meal prep video whether I'm on a weight loss program or not. So it's very possible that I'm, I sit here and I'm not even losing weight. I decide that, you know what, I don't wanna lose weight anymore. I'm still gonna provide the same content. I'm still gonna provide meal plans and meal preps. I'm still gonna do that regardless. So my channel was really made more about meal preps and meal plans, and I didn't want it to be WW inclusive. Like, I didn't want it to, only be for people that are doing Weight Watchers. I wanted to be able to give ideas to everybody regardless of what program you're on. Because the bottom line is we are all different. We all lose different. You know, what works for me may not work for you. Some people don't like having to count points. Everybody's different, everybody's different. And so I want my channel to be able to just give ideas and you can kind of use the ideas that I give and make it your own. So like I said, I mean, even keto, you guys know that I eat a lot of carbs in my diet, but the, you know, the ones that do keto can still take my ideas and you know, instead of potatoes, they can double up on vegetables or, or whatever it is. I mean, there's just different options that, that people can use. I'm just trying to provide that. I'm trying to make my channel, um, so that is just very versatile and so it's diverse and no matter what program you're on you're still going to get information so that that's why i'm starting to share calories so i am so excited to get back to a normal weekend this weekend and do some meal planning some meal prepping so look for those videos uh meal plan and grocery haul video should be out sunday and meal prep should be out tuesday or wednesday so watch for those all right so this one went all over the place this time so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thank you all so much for watching if you're new i hope you'll subscribe i'll talk to you in my next video i'm christy and i'm planning us healthy